So my name is Pamela Cosman, and I'm a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at UCSD. I'm also uh, currently the director of the Center for Wireless Communications here, and I'm also the editor-in-chief of the IEEE Journal on Selected Areas in Communications. So those are all my titles at the moment. So the, the IEEE uh, Fellow Award, they, they always ask for some very short phrase um, to say what you're being recognized for. And uh, so in my case, for contributions to image and video compression and wireless communications. And, and, and it's considered um, a, a, an award that's based on everything that you've done up to that point. And so most of the work that I've done has been on image and video compression algorithms and to some extent, I've also done, done work on machine vision, that is uh, automatic interpretation of images and video. And, and then I've also done some, some work on wireless communications of, of looking at uh, image and video compression in the context of a wireless channel where there are going to be um, bit errors and packet losses, and the decoder has to be able to recover you know, gracefully from those. So that's sort of been my body of work in the past 10 years. So did you ever feel like a minority during your engineering training? Did I ever not feel that way? <laughs> That's, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's inescapable. It, when you're taking an engineering class, you're just, you know, as, as a woman, you feel like you're sticking out like a sore thumb. I mean, and, and I, w I many times had an experience where I would ask a, a question and, and, and maybe, you know, seven, eight months later, somebody might say to me, hey, weren't you the person who asked that question in that class? And, and I think, you know, the only reason they remembered me is because I was a woman. That's, and, and so then you feel really conspicuous and you feel like you, if you open your mouth, you have to say something clever, you know, because people are not going to forget it or let it just pass by the way that they would with a male student. And have these past experiences affected the way you teach here at the Jacobs School of Engineering? I, I think it, it does. Um, I, I certainly, in class, I try to tell people um, that I really encourage them to come to office hours, that I you know, really like to, to meet them in office hours, and, and that I'm happy to accept questions also by email. Or, or you know, I, just, I, just, I want to encourage people to um, to ask questions and not feel that there's sort of a huge, you know, unbridgeable gap um, between them and the professor. You know, with being an editor in chief of a of a journal, I think it, it has really not mattered what the gender is at all. And probably like a lot of um, journals, um, it's it's all run electronically, and and so you're sending um, things out for review through email, and you're contacting the the various editors through email, and so you never even see people. Um, so I would say that that's an arena in which it has mattered less than about anything else of of what anybody's gender is. The the question of whether women's papers are reviewed more harshly is, is one that um, I, think, I think the scientific studies of that have, have demonstrated quite conclusively that, that you know, they are reviewed more harshly. And those, the various studies that people have done where you have the very same um, paper or the same resume or the same essay or whatever it is, and, and you have a man's name on it or a woman's name on it, and then you see how, how people um, rate it that it, it definitely shows that, that you know, people are more critical of, of women and, and undervalue what they're writing. Um, so the, there's no question that that happens. Now, I, I, you, know, you can't point to any specific paper, say, and, and, and be sure that it's happened in that particular case, right? Um, it's just that sort of statistically we know that this is going on. Do you feel there are missed opportunities with regard to women and underrepresented minorities entering into the fields of engineering? I, I think there are a lot of women who know very little about engineering and, and are just sort of put off by even trying to learn anything about it. Um, I think the, the, the gender gap starts really early, you know, in, in probably in middle school, and, 
and I think that there are opportunities at every one of those levels of middle school and high school and undergrad and grad students to to make a difference with um, providing role models for women and showing them you know giving them experience of just sort of what it can be like so it so it's not a big unknown and um, and trying to set up things like peer groups so women don't feel isolated there's a lot of things we can do